Hello. Today, I'll show you how to get an easy 5 to 15 levels added to your level cap. One of the easiest ways to increase your level cap is by killing Rockwell on Aberration. This is an ascension fight that also gives the tech sleeping pod and tech gin. Gamma gives you an extra 5 levels to your cap, Beta gives you 5 more, and then Alpha gives you 5 more for a total of 15. Now, you do not need to do all 3 fights to get the 15 levels. You can just skip to Alpha, and it will give you all the levels for Beta and Gamma as well. Beta will give you 10 levels if you do it first instead of Gamma. So, what do you need to beat Rockwell? Well, that depends on the difficulty. If it's Alpha, you need two players at least. You can solo Beta, you just have to be careful. Beta can be done with a 230 shotgun and prim ghillie armor. I do recommend wearing ghillie as it helps hide you from the dinos. The next item you will need is about 10 cactus broths. You can bring more to be safe. Cactus broth will help hide you from the reapers and nameless. Without this, you will need dinos and light pets for the fight. You will need a lot of shotgun ammo. Depending on your shotgun's damage and how many shots you miss, you may need between 1200 and 2000 rounds. Of course, food, water, and med brews are always needed. This boss fight, like others, is mostly about the prep, but you can complete it with basic gear that you get on day one. There are level requirements for this. For Alpha, you need to be level 100. For Beta, 75. And for Gamma, level 60. You can hit level 100 in just a few hours of joining a server. I'll link a video in the comments on how to do this. To hit level 75, a simple 10 to 20 minute note run is all that is needed. You will need three artifacts, the Depths, the Shadows, and the Stalker. In the card above is a video on how to get these three artifacts, super easy. If you're going to run Beta or Alpha, you will need a few more things. Real quick, I will show you where to get Basilisk skills and Reaper Pheromone. You will need a Dino that can traverse Ab, or you need to be very good at ground fighting Rock Drakes and Basilisk. I recommend a Mana or a Megalosaurus. If you have a Rock Drake, even better. Now, if you're going for Alpha, you will need to kill Alpha Dinos, and for this, I recommend having a high level Rock Drake. Even a good Megalo will get torn apart by the Reaper Kings on the surface. The first place for Basilisk is in the Blue Zone, at 3767. Just start here and travel along the shore with the cliffs to your left until you reach waterfalls. You can usually find Basilisk here. Another place, if you go up from 3767 to this area here, we were at 4367 and Basilisk spawn around the structure that's here. Basilisks also spawn above Fertile Lake on this structure here at 1640. You may need to kill the dinos in the area to get a basilisk to spawn. Another place you can find them is the portal area where you start. Then there are the Reaper Queen pheromones. For this, you will need a fast mount that can traverse cliffs. Gas bags, manas, and rock drakes are best. You will need mushroom soup for most dinos to keep them from getting radiation, and you will need a hazard soup. Usually, there will be Reaper Traps right outside the Radiation Zone. You can bait the Reaper Queen into it, and then you can use a shotgun to kill it, if you don't have a Dino that can fight her. I do not suggest fighting a Reaper Queen with the mana. You can bait her out and then use a Megalo to fight. You will need Z-Seeds or a Light Pet to fight the Reaper Queen. If you do not have either of those, you can bait her to a Light Plant or a Recharge Station. Now that you have everything and are ready to fight Rockwell, you need to know a few things about the fight. I'll start on the Alpha difficulty to show you how to beat it on Alpha, then I'll show you how to beat it solo on Beta, and a few tricks. You will need two people with at least 230 damage shotguns. First person stands on this platform in front of Rockwell and kills the tentacles they can reap. Make sure to keep your cactus broth soup going, never let the timer run out or the dinos will aggro and kill you. Now the second person can head to the back and stand there in the rocky area. Just watch out for the tentacles shocking the area. From there, the second person shoots the tentacles the first cannot reach. Only the first person will be able to damage Rockwell, so they should have the better shotgun, and make sure to stand closer than I am in the video. The shotgun does more damage the closer you are. And watch out for the floating gas balls, they can do a lot of damage, and break your armor. They break with one hit from any gun though, so you could bring a pistol to save shotgun ammo. Now real quick, I want to show you the difference in using the shotgun close up and far off. This tentacle far off takes 20 shots to kill. But then I shoot this one up close, and it takes 7 shots to kill. As you can see, doing this solo with a 230 shotgun, I was only a little past halfway when I ran out of time.
If you want to do the solo, my preferred way is to run along like this and shoot the tentacles letting me kill them faster as I get close to each one. This saves ammo, time, and reduces the chances of hitting a reaper by accident. You can see as I head around this path, they die pretty easily, and through testing they die faster than shooting them from a starting point. This method does mean you have to dodge the wild dinos and be very careful. As you can see on beta, a 230 damage shotgun will do just fine. If you prefer to stay in one spot, you can step to the left and right of the platform and shoot the tentacles from the edges. This is a bit slower and may require a slightly stronger shotgun, but it is easier to keep track of the dinos. I'll show you this real quick. When shooting from far, your shots can hit anywhere in the spread, and even if you hit the tentacle, some of the ammo may miss and hit a reaper. If that happens, you're done. Aim high if the shotgun spread could miss, or aim below the platform. And that's all there is to beating Rockwell in Aberration. If you enjoyed the video, smash that like button, and have an awesome day.